Anastasia Benedino and I design guild work. My particular line is very classic, it's very sleek, I think a lot of people like it. As a matter of fact, I only have one piece. Just one piece, it's a dashi. Orange lines, orange different colors. It's, it's specifically geared towards uh, people who feel guilty over 300 years of oppression. Upholstery, guilt upholstery. Oh yeah, there is no such thing as guilt upholstery, you see. It's, uh, it's really all about fashion and sense and the idea that people wear it. It's, you don't sit on guilt. You wear guilt. Uh, it's, you wear it like you wear like a cane. You, you wear it like a hat with a big plumage feather in it. You, you wear your guilt. No one sits on guilt. It, it, that would be ridiculous. Yours is very complex. Is truly a visionary a voice of the past extending her hand to the future. Guiltware was born out of an entire people's suffering. And now it's time to capitalize on that suffering. When white people wear it, it they go, oh my goodness, it's not only do I feel guilty, but I'm faded out too. It's uh, especially on the extremely pale Caucasians. It's uh, it just brings the guilt out. Is this just a male piece, or is there a female accompaniment? Nah, that no, 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 this is just male. White male, age 25 to 35, keeps to himself mostly. Doesn't have a lot of friends. Gets a lot of packages. Um, and I'm looking at other pieces too, it's just not specifically towards men, white men, but for other people too. In term and camp gear with Americans over the age of 75, Holocaust, guilt, specifically for people of German heritage. Why don't you wear your outfit? Well, that would be stupid, wouldn't it?